This is a quick video of the assembly and installation of the adjustable eyepiece mount which I've just completed making. I made it for this stereo microscope because the, the eyepiece tube which came with it originally was just a fixed tube and allowed no adjustment for different strengths between the eyes so making it very difficult for me to use it because my eyes are quite different. So I designed this for achieving that and I've also added the ability to hold a reticle inside the eyepiece as well. So I'll put the camera up on the tripod just now and you can see the installation. So the first part is this base element which screws into the holder like so. Now to get that tight I've got this tool here which is a split clamp that goes over like so, and tighten the arm up. <laughs> so we now get a good, good grip of it to tighten it up. That should do. Okay. Next part is the main body. This is threaded and goes on to the base portion. Once I find the thread. There we go. Now that's a bit loose, so I'll put some damping grease on it just to thicken it a little, not too much. This is Niogel 774 medium damping grease. And I'll put just a little bit of that around. And we'll see how that feels now. Oh yeah, much better. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. I'll put some inside the body this time. Let's try that. Feels just about right. Excellent. So it's still free to turn, but it's just nice and stiff so it doesn't get knocked accidentally. So we now want to assemble the various pieces of the eyepiece. So the 
eyepiece itself goes into this little extension tube. Then the reticle, which currently haven't actually, the proper reticle hasn't arrived, so I'm just using this little wire thing to imitate it, goes into here. We tighten it up with this brass retaining ring. So, yeah. Finally, there's a brass lock ring to set the depth. Again, I've put a little bit of the NioGel damping grease on here to reduce movement. That then goes into the end of the extension tube. and I'll lock it there just now. So by threading this in and out we can bring the crosshairs or the reticle to the focal point of the eyepiece and then by moving the entire eyepiece in and out we can bring that into focus with the, the main image. So the eyepiece now simply and zoom in plops into the body and can be adjusted in and out very easily. So that's the finished eyepiece and I've tried it and it works extremely well. Okay, thanks for watching.